Hi everyone, welcome to Bodhi Life Crochet. Today we're going to make the Shine Your Light Shrug. We are going to need one ball of Lion Brand's Ice Cream Big Scoop yarn. This will make the size small, medium, and you'll need two for the larger sizes. We're going to use a size USH hook, stitch markers, scissors, and a darning needle. So first we are going to make our chain. You can find the pattern on my website, bodylifecrochet.com. Today I'm going to show you with the swatch how to make the shrug. So I'm going to chain 27. So by using the swatch, this is going to look like a mini version of the shrug. I just wanted to show you how to do the stitch pattern and how to piece it all together in the end. Once you're finished with your beginning chain, you're going to double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into the fifth chain from the hook. So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five, double crochet, chain three, and double crochet into that same stitch. Next, you are going to skip three chains and repeat this same pattern all the way down until the end of the row. Double crochet, chain three, and then double crochet into that same stitch. At the end of this row you will have two chains left, so what you will do is skip the next chain and double crochet into the last chain. Moving on to row two, you will chain three and then turn your work. Now we're going to work four double crochets into this chain space. So one, two, three, four then chain one, and then continue this pattern into each chain space for the rest of the row. So four double crochet, chain one. At the end of row two, you're going to finish your last four double crochets into the last chain space. And then you're going to double crochet into the top of the turning chain.
For row three, you will begin with a chain four. This will count as a double crochet in chain one. Then you're going to place a double crochet into this first stitch. After this double crochet, you are going to go to the next chain space and place a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Continue this pattern throughout the rest of the row into each chain space until you get to the very last chain space. After finishing your last chain space, you are going to skip the next four double crochets and you're going to go to the top of the turning chain, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet all into the top of that turning chain. Now we are on row four. You're going to begin with a chain three. Then you're going to place two double crochets into the next chain one space right here. So one double crochet, two. Then you're going to chain one and move on to the next chain space where you're going to place four double crochets. Next you'll chain one and then move on to the next chain space. Four double crochet, chain one. Continue this pattern throughout the row until you reach the very last chain space. In this last chain space, you're going to place two double crochets. To finish this row, you are going to place a double crochet at the top of the turning chain. To begin the final row, row five, we're going to chain three. Then we're going to turn our work and into this first chain space, we're going to place a double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Repeat this pattern until you reach the very last chain space.
At the end of this row, we are going to skip the next two double crochets and then double crochet into the top of the turning chain. So here you will see row 2, 3, 4, and 5. This bottom row is just for the beginning foundation chain. So 2, 3, 4, and 5 are the rows you will repeat for this stitch pattern. And here it is once you repeat the stitch pattern twice. This will be the wrong side and you can see at the top of these double crochets you can clearly see the V. And this is going to be the right side that meaning the side of the shrug that you want facing out when you sew up the armholes. So here we are going to tie off, do a little slip stitch and pull through, and then we are going to attach the yarn to the top right with the right side facing up. And this is how I like to attach the yarn. I stick the hook through, put the new yarn on, pull through, and then do kind of like a chain one And then what we are going to do is go across the top. We're going to place two single crochets into the chain spaces. And then in between each chain space, you will place one single crochet. So here I'm going to single crochet into this chain space. And then I'm going to find the stitch in between the chain spaces and single crochet. and then place two single crochets into this chain space. You can crochet over that tail just to kind of prevent more ends to weave in later. And then look for that space in between each chain space and place one single crochet. Repeat this until the end of the row. Once you finish this border at the top, you're going to cut your yarn and slip stitch and pull through to end the row. Now we are going to turn this rectangle clockwise and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. We're going to attach our yarn to the top right corner and then we're going to place two single crochets into each chain space and one single crochet into the stitch in between the chain spaces. Now that we have finished these borders, we're going to weave in our ends and then move on to the armholes. So with the right side facing up, wrong side facing down, you are going to fold the rectangle towards you. 
and then you are going to measure out your armholes. Then you will sew from the bottom up and then stop right underneath where the armhole opening will begin. Here is what the seam will look like when you're finished and just repeat it on the other side. After you are done with the seams, we will move on to the border. Once you're finished weaving in the ends, you will leave it with the wrong side facing out and you're going to pull the top and bottom middle apart to create the shrug shape. It's going to be kind of like a diamond shape. So here are the seams we just made and the armholes. You can tell it's the wrong side facing out and you will want to turn it over so you start at the bottom middle and you're going to insert your hook and attach a new piece of yarn. Then you're going to chain one to fully attach the yarn. And then you will chain two and do a half double crochet into that same stitch and then half double crochet around the entire border. For sizes large and up, I recommend doing the border twice. And so when you finish this first border, you will slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain, chain two, and then half double crochet around for one more row. Once you reach the part that you seamed for the armholes, you'll just continue to half double crochet to bring that together in the border.
Once you're finished with your half double crochets, you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch. And then you will tie off and weave in your ends. After you weave in your ends, cut off the last pieces of yarn. This is still the wrong side facing out. So you're going to flip it inside out. So now the right side is facing out. Grab the top middle and bottom middle and pull apart to make the diamond shape. So head over to bodylifecrochet.com for the written instructions and also head over to lionbrand.com to purchase the kit which includes the yarn and the um, printed out pattern. When you're finished with your shrug, if you post it on social media, please tag me. I would love to see your creations and comment below. I really love your feedback and your support. Thank you so much and happy crocheting!